We died. You died. I, I died. Die. I died. We'll have to try this again, but not, not right now. We, well, maybe right now. If I try again, where does that put me? I dropped from the window and landed on the. Oh and no! It puts me back here. Looking up and down the quiet back street, I tried to decide what to do next. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that my best bet was to head to a main road and try to steal a vehicle or catch a lift. I jogged down the quiet street for a few hundred feet before stopping to catch my breath. I looked up briefly at- Oh! Oh, I can click it and it makes it go faster. Okay, so we're gonna ignore the little girl. Next. We are going to ignore the bus. Next. Okay, so let's- Let's turn the paramedic police officer and wounded man. Oh, I didn't let him talk, I'm sorry. I'll talk for him. I'll... No. I, I walked over to the group and the, with the wounded man and began to help. Okay. Oh, I did it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told the group. I thought we should try to find some transport and get out of the city center. One of them suggested we go to the parking area a few blocks down. We're all going to the parking area. There was no real way to avoid them. Distract them, convince one of the others to distract them. There we go, we're doing that again. Some heated discussion. Somebody from the group eventually stepped up. Where do you hurt that? Where do yeah, we where do you hurt that? Found a few do 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 okay. So we're taking the motorbikes this time. I suggested that we take The others didn't seem to like the idea. <laughs> oh fine. We're taking the Jeep. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Okay, we're not gonna try to help them. We are definitely going to go for the sports car. I headed towards the sports car and didn't look back. Exactly. See, we're, we're alive now. I climbed aboard my chosen vehicle and sped away from the car park onto Ooh, the Ooh, we're living, we're living. And then the roads were littered with bodies and car wreckages. It was all I could do to avoid them. Everywhere I looked, I could see only scenes of carnage. It seemed that those not already infected were fighting a losing battle. My thoughts quickly turned to my she's wife. She's dead. I tried to tell myself that she would be no, okay. No, she's dead. That didn't stop the horrible feeling in the pit of my exactly, stomach. Exactly, because she's dead. I knew I had to get you home knew she was possible. dead. In the distance, I could see a gas station with a few of the zombies on the forecourt. I quickly glanced down at the fuel gauge and saw that I only had about a half a tank remaining. Mmm. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, how far away is your is your house now? Because half a tank is pretty good considering. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill up at the pump. I pulled up onto the forecourt, got out of the vehicle began to pull up the gas tank at the pump. However, within a few short moments, the infected began to notice me and started heading in my direction. As they started to get close, I decided that it would be best to escape while I still could. As I pulled away, I glanced down at the fuel gauge. It had barely gone up at all. Well, that was pointless then, wasn't it? We should have just kept going. I continued down yeah, the road see? before Continuing down the, the road. highway out of However, it wasn't long before I well, noticed a massive vehicle blocking the road ahead. Nice. The combined sound of all the honking, shouting, and screaming was deafening. Nobody had kept to their lanes, and cars were packed so closely together that not even a bicycle could squeeze through. Ah, oh, that sucks. The blockage extended so far down the road that it was literally impossible to discern what the cause was. Well, gee, I wonder what the cause is. Maybe it's because there's a ton of zombies just, like, prancing around the streets. Well, we're not going to wait. Take the vehicle off-road and go around the blockage. Turn around and find another route home. We're going to do that. I that there was no point in waiting for the traffic to clear. And that without the Jeep, driving off the road was just too dangerous. I headed back the way I came and turned off the highway at the first exit. I soon found a safer, albeit less direct, route home. Exactly. So we can do that. As I sped down the disturbingly quiet back But road, it's quiet. There's no wander. zombies. Without the distraction of imminent danger, 
I began to remember the horrific scenes I had witnessed just No, don't ago. do that. That will make you Images of mangled corpses upset. flashed before my See? eyes, and my head began See, to See, you spin. shouldn't do that. I swerved onto the wrong side uh, of the you road. You idiot. You are an idiot. Oh my god, you're going to die, and it's not even going to be from a I zombie. Sharply, but it was too late to avoid a collision. Amazingly, I wasn't seriously injured. <sighs> you're so dumb. My ride was badly damaged. You are so dumb. I swear, like seriously, you are so dumb. Don't see if the other driver is hurt. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't know. But was the other car damaged? That is, well, you know what? Since you're not badly damaged, just carry on. I realized that without transport, I would have to walk the rest exactly. of the way home. Exactly. See, we're being smart. Not wanting to waste any more precious time, I continued my journey. We are being it. smart. Let's go. Let's go next. Only died once After here. Let's go. An hour of walking, I began to recognize my surroundings. And knew that I would soon be home. There were several different routes I could take. Continue along the main road, follow the train line, take a shortcut through the cornfields, which is never a good idea if you've seen any horror movies. Take a shortcut through the woods, which is again never a good idea. Follow the train line seems like the best idea. I decided to get off the main road, as it would undoubtedly be dangerous in such a heavily exactly. populated area. I decided to follow the train line instead, since it ran not far from my house and would be totally deserted. See? Sure totally enough, deserted. I didn't see another soul. Exactly. Except you might have seen a train, which would then I suck. I finally arrived in my neighborhood, exhausted. I knew that my house was just a little further down the street, but the area was swarming with the infected. Aww. Most of them seemed distracted by what few survivors remained, but I knew it was only a matter of time before they noticed me. Then don't I get noticed. I remembered about a small alleyway nearby, one that would take me most of the way home in relative safety. I entered the alley, and as expected, it seemed totally devoid of life. However, as I walked past a large dumpster, an infected old man stepped out of the shadows and tried to grab me. <laughs> it sucks to be you. Oh wait, we are you. No. <laughs> okay. Well. Grab him by the neck and push him away. Grab his torso and push him away, which won't do anything for his face. Punch him in the face. No, he'll probably bite you as, like, you punch him. Throw him over your shoulder and do what? Let him bite you? So we're gonna grab him by the neck and push him away. Oh, unless our hand accidentally slips up and it goes into, like, his teeth or something, then that won't be good. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We are going to, um, maybe we should just grab his torso and push him away, you know, kind of be like, bam. So let's do that. I grabbed his shoulder and pushed him backward, narrowly escaping being bitten. Ooh, but we escaped it, which is all that matters. I had bought myself valuable time, but it wouldn't take long for the creature to regain its balance and come at me. Then again. run! Run! I turned to run back the way I had came, only to see that another group of them had oh, followed dead. and were now blocking my oh, retreat. Oh, we're screwed. My only hope was to try and get past the lone infected. Uh, grab a brick and throw it out his head. Grab a brick and hit him in the head with it when he gets close enough. Try and run past him. Okay, this means that... Since there are two options with the brick, that if we throw it at his head, we'll probably miss. So we're going to hit him when he gets close enough. Grabbing a brick, I waited just long enough for the infected to get close before smashing it into his face. There was a sickening crack as his jawbone fractured and blood sprayed from his mouth. My former neighbor fell to the ground. Oh, it was our neighbor. Before he could get back up, that sucks. I was able to run past. Okay, we're still alive. We're going I home. Down the alley and back onto the street. When I looked over my shoulder, there was no sign of my pursuers. I could see my house now, just 100 feet or so away. My heart sank when I saw yet another group of infected wandering aimlessly between me and my goal. Nah. Try to sneak past them, try to run past them, try to get through the neighbor's rear gardens. Huh. Okay, well, we're not going to sneak past them because they're always going to see us. We're not going to run past them because they're always going to catch us. So I guess that just leaves this one. I decided that it was too dangerous to carry on down the street. I went around the back of one of the neighbor's houses and climbed over the fence into their garden. Oh, this could be bad. It was tiring, 
but I carried on scrambling over the fences until I got to my own backyard. Oh, so now we're in our own backyard. Yay! We're almost home! As I approached the house, I noticed the glass in the back door had been smashed uh -oh. and the door left slightly ajar. Uh -oh. I was terrified for my wife. Oh, safety. she's dead. She is so dead, buddy. Go straight indoors, go to the shed and find out. Oh, yeah, we're finding a weapon. I realized that whoever had broken into the house could still be in there. And without a weapon, I wouldn't be able to help my wife. Your wife is already dead. I headed over to the shed and checked my pockets. Luckily, I still had my keys and was able to remove the padlock and open the door. That's a good thing we still had our keys. There was a wide range of tools to choose from. Take the chainsaw. No, because it runs out of gas. Take the sledgehammer. Uh, it's... Uh, I get, uh, take the crowbar. Take the hand axe. Oh, oh, the hand axe. What is a hand axe? Is it like a normal axe? I want a fire axe. How come we don't have a fire axe? Shut up! I want a fire axe. I don't want no hand axe. Oh, I don't really want a sledgehammer either. And a crowbar isn't really going to do much. Let's take the hand axe. Light and easy yeah, to use. oh, my thoughts Although exactly. Perhaps not the most powerful of weapons. But it's okay. Wait, are you telling me I chose the wrong weapon? You could at least spit it out. Oh, I chose the wrong weapon. Look at me. I'm so dumb. I need to put it back. With my weapon in hand, I left the shed and walked back to my house. Before I could enter, I discovered why the back door had been left ajar. A teenage looter emerged from the house carrying my television. Obviously intent on profiting from the crisis. <laughs> when he, he saw television. me, he dropped the TV and pulled out a large kitchen knife. Ooh. At that moment, I couldn't tell which one of us was more afraid. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? Let him go. You don't need your TV. You don't need... You can buy a new TV. I told the looter that I wasn't going to hurt him, and that he could take the TV and go. He didn't bother to pick it back up. Instead, he ran over to the nearby fence and climbed over into the Oh, that's- see, garden. he didn't even take my TV. That's okay, I can put it back. Having dealt with the it's looter, probably broken now, I walked though. in through the back door. I was relieved to finally be safely indoors, but I couldn't rest yet. Not until I was certain my wife was okay. And we need to patch up that window because, you know, that's- Lock the back door, barricade the back door. But wait, if we barricade the back door, and then we find out that, like, there's zombies in our house, what are we gonna do? You know what? We're gonna barricade the back door, because that window's already broken. Or is this going to kill- You know what? We're just gonna barricade the back door. I quickly shut the back door and locked it, then looked around for some furniture to wedge in front of it. It took me a few minutes to properly secure the entrance, but at least I knew nobody would be able to force their way in. Exactly. And if our wife is dead, we're probably just gonna be all upset anyway, so it's not a big deal if we die. I began searching the ground floor for my wife. As I came into the living room, I saw that John from next door was standing there. Oh, oh, he he's, had his back oh, he's so a zombie. He was oblivious to my presence. Oh, he's so a zombie. His shirt was covered in red stains. Oh, he's a zombie. Oh, God, he's a zombie. Well, since he's got his back to us, we can kill him. John was surely infected, so I snuck up behind him and hit him as hard as I could on the back of the head. His skull made a satisfying crack Ooh, and we killed him. We too. killed him. Wait, that's bad. I had never liked him much anymore. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay then. As I went to go upstairs, I noticed a note had been left for me by the front Ooh, door. Ooh, what? I recognized my wife's handwriting immediately. The note said that she couldn't wait for me any longer and that she was going to pack her bags and take the car to her parents' house in the countryside. Seriously? As I read the note, my heart sank. I prayed that she would be able to make it to her parents in one piece. But knowing how hard it had been for me to get here, I couldn't help but wonder if she was still alive. We- When I realized I may never see her again- Did you die again? I began to feel tears rolling down my cheek. Dude, we spent all this time trying to get to her house, and our wife isn't even there. She's like, oh, I'm going to my parents' house, screw you. And, and now we're sitting here, we're in our house, and we're like, I can't believe she left. What a jerk! <sighs> what, well, what are we gonna search the house for, really? Like, supplies? Cause it doesn't say search the house for supplies. Uh, let's, let's continue searching the house. I pulled myself together and resolved to keep searching. I needed to make sure the house was secure before planning my next move. Ha! See? As I climbed the stairs, 
I heard an odd shuffling noise coming from my bedroom. Oh no. I didn't know if it was my wife, a looter, or another of the infected. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's another option to go back. Okay, whatever. I slowly pushed the door open and stepped inside. Oh, this is never good. The scene that greeted me will haunt my nightmares for years to come. My beautiful wife was pinned on the floor, desperately trying to fight off one of the infected. She could barely keep the creature at bay, and if I didn't act immediately, she would surely die. Oh, our wife is still there! Yay! <laughs> Although now we're both gonna die anyway. Um... Kick the infected off of her before attacking. I ran we'll do that. infected and kicked it in the face with all my might. It was enough to get the beast away from my wife. And I was able to quickly finish the job without the risk of hitting her by mistake. See? Or getting blood on her, which is very important to not get infected. I was finally reunited with my wife. I dropped the weapon and held her as tightly as I could. In that moment, I was happier than I had ever been. Yet the feeling would not last yeah, long. I, don't think I'll ever marry you. I asked her if she was okay, <laughs> and she showed me her hand. Why? Blood dripped from several bite marks on her finger. <gasps> She's gonna I die! She become infected or not, or even how much longer she had. She sobbed as I struggled to decide what to do. We need to bash her head off! Cut off her fingers and take her with you! <gasps> what? What? I just wanna kill- can I just kill her? I just wanna kill her! Okay, we're gonna cut off her fingers, cause they are bite marks, so let's cut off her fingers. I knew I had to do something. Sorry, wifey! If I could stop the spread of the infection, I might just be able to save her life. We ran down to the kitchen, took a clean meat cleaver from the knife rack, and tied an improvised tourniquet around her Oh god, oh, we're, we're cutting off her finger. Oh god, I can't watch this. Within I mean, I can't listen to this. Over, oh, I can't read it! I What's going on? dressing the wounds with bandages from our first aid kit. I didn't know if she would survive or not, but at least now we had hope. Ah, oh, lady, you should not have gotten bitten, man. What is wrong with you? My wife and I spent some time discussing what to do next. We realized that we couldn't stay in the house forever, as it was just too dangerous this close to civilization. We decided that our best bet was to load up the car with food and supplies, and then head for her parents' house out in the country. I made sure the house was secure, dragged the corpses down to the basement, and then helped my wife get everything ready. She looked pale and weak, but it didn't seem like she would turn. At least not for a while yet. By the time everything was ready, it was already nightfall, so we decided to spend one more night at home before hitting the road. <laughs> I don't think either of us slept that night, but it was better than traveling in the dark. We left at dawn. To be continued. Oh, blah, blah, blah. To be continued! I'm so excited I can't even speak because you know what? We lived! Yes! We survived and we saved our life! And it's awesome. See? Rank A! Yay! Oh, compassion rank C. You were once a kind and you were once and kind person, but the outbreak has forced you to become self what self Well, you know what? It's self preservation, man. Self preservation? You have to like stay away from the zombies and kill people. That's what you gotta do. See you have a solid understanding of zombie outbreaks and your survival skills are far above average. You'd probably survive a real outbreak. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't care about compassion. Compassion, you have the window. Compassion turned into a zombie. That's what happened. Woo! Alright, so we made it through Dead Frontier Outbreak. That was kind of fun. It was like 40 minutes overall. Around 40 minutes. Probably 35-ish minutes by the time I get done with it. So, that's not too bad. 